But come on, let's introduce Back our again, next guest. Nice to see you. This is the man swap. that brought you that brilliant deal. Shane's the guy that brought you the brilliant deal from Princess. Oh, it's been so stressful. I've had to run <laughs> from the green room. I've had to come in here to get the deal. We finally got it together. So we managed <laughs> just in the nick of time to get it on the show. Well, I'm so going to get great. tell us about the line in a moment. But before we do that, we're actually going to go out to the Far East. So let's see a little bit of Singapore because that is your first port of call. What do you want to tell us about this, Keith? Well, very quickly, as you saw, with the number one seller, I'm sure Shane will tell you this for Princess in the UK. Singapore, an amazing city, really immersive. I've got a good friend out there now. I've been giving him some recommendations about right. what to do. It's full of these, uh, well, we're all mixed. You've got these Chinese shop houses. You've got red with red tiled roofs. You've got sturdy Victorian buildings, uh, like Raffles Hotel, mm, you know, with the famous yeah, long bar yeah. where you can chuck your nuts I, on I, the floor. I bought six glasses and kept them. We took them home. We still use them now. Do you? Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, the great thing here, of course, is shopping, as you, as you just mentioned there, the Jurong uh, Bird Park, the largest walking aviary in the world, Look and that, that, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, that took three months to rise up and place on the top there, and you can sit and have a cocktail overlooking the whole of Singapore in this artificial kind of beach world, it's incredible, and it's right at the top. It, it wasn't there when I was there, so I, I've never had the opportunity to go to it. It's oh, incredible. Love, love yeah, to see it's that. incredible thing to do. But of course, that's your, your first two nights, you're going to Singapore, then you join the ship. You do, and uh, this is where Shane's going to tell you all about the fantastic Princess Cruises. Yeah, yeah let's have a look absolutely. at the, the line themselves. Amazing, so thank you guys. So, uh, firstly, I think the police are still after you for those glasses that you took home from Singapore. <laughs> I'm not sure whether you should have taken those, but well, it's another matter. <laughs> it's, it's so, Princess Cruises, an amazing product. Obviously, I'm going to say that, but many of our customers do come back time and time again. Yeah. So, we have a, a wonderful fleet of 18 ships sailing all over the world. And one thing that we really do find from our, from our guests is that they want to explore somewhere a little bit difference. A lot of our passengers have done the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and they're now looking to head further afield. And that's why we've chosen this incredible Asia itinerary for you to have a look at today. So it's a great itinerary, sailing on the beautiful Sapphire Princess. So no matter which Princess Cruiser ship you choose, you will have a consistent Princess experience. We have the signature features, our outdoor moves under star screen, our Adasoni sanctuary area, yeah. our Piazza, which is the heart and hub of our ships. So you'll find all these signature features. So you can choose an itinerary based on the itinerary that you want to do rather than choosing which is your favourite ship because if you like one princess ship yeah, you will love, love them, all. them all. Yeah, I, I've got to tell you at home that there's a big place in our heart for princess. I say ours, my wife and I, because I actually proposed to her on a princess ship. You did? You were telling me a story earlier. She, she said yes. Well, princess were the original love boat as well, weren't they? You know, the original right, love boat were. series. That was the princess ship, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, princess ship. So yes, we were the original love boat and it proved right for you. It did, it certainly did. So and we're still together. Woohoo! <laughs> and we just had another baby. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, let's, let's take an opportunity to, see, do, to see the itinerary. <laughs> Come on, let's see where we get to go. So, we've been to Singapore already. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we're heading out for Singapore. I'm still thinking about the baby thing. One well, word, okay. <laughs> Got to get that out of my mind. Okay, then we're at your first port of call. Uh, this is the place we were chatting about, Shane, wasn't How it? Do you um, say oh. Bandar Seri Bagawan oh, in Brunei. Ba Bandar Seri Bagawan, as they say, <laughs> as they say in the, in the local twang. So, um, I was lucky enough to visit this place, an incredible place. It's ruled by a sultan, so it's a sultan sea. Um, a great place there to be able to experience the palace. Um, incredibly clean here. So, mm, very it, clean. It is quite unusual to find this on a cruise itinerary. So, a really unusual port of call. And admittedly, probably not somewhere that you would naturally go on holiday. So, that's why it's really great to be able to experience right. this on a cruise, hold, a cruise excursion. Great start. Then, relaxing date scene before you then hit Vietnam. Nha Trang, it's the beach capital of Vietnam. Uh, great chance to see these towering mountains looming up behind these sweeping beaches. Um, I recommend just maybe doing a little tuk tuk tour around uh, and soaking up some of the sun. Then we're going through to, and well, this is great. This is Ho Chi Minh City. We oh, might yeah. remember it. It's the former Saigon. Yeah. Uh, you may have seen the musical. Yeah. Um, you can head into uh, the incredible Rex Hotel for great views over the city where the five o'clock follies during the Vietnam War were held. You yeah. could, everything's walkable from there. And you've also got a chance to head down the Mekong River to paddle down there uh, in the beautiful traditional boats. You can head to the famous Chi Chi Tunnel Network, which the Viet Cong built, um, which is quite impressive. And the Ben Thank market if you want to get a bargain if you want to see local Vietnamese life go there but remember watch out for the motorbikes motorbikes are everywhere in Ho Chi Minh City it's ruled by motorbikes love it relaxing day at sea before you go to Cambodia this is probably my favorite country in fact definitely my favorite country in Southeast Asia Siukaville hacked out of the jungle in the 1950s and 60s named after their king great chance for you to relax on a beach or possibly go in and do a mangrove cruise looking for some of the famous bird life um, it's a very friendly, very, very, very beautiful country where the people can't do enough for you, um, you know, and they really, really are beautiful people. Then we're going through to Bangkok, 
We're now in a different country. We're in Thailand, Lam Shabang. Love that name. Uh, go into a couple of hours into Bangkok, the world's hottest capital city. The floating markets where you can barter uh, for some wonderful fresh fruit and produce. You can go to some of the grand palaces. You can see the reclining golden Buddha. Maybe go and get a massage in Wat Po. Um, and then again, look at the size of that. Can you see how you've got the wonderful ancient palace there with the skyscrapers behind? Go go on a tuk tuk ride. Uh, it's better than any roller coaster. And this is Wat Room, the Temple of Dawn, which is. Absolutely stunning, and definitely try some of the Thai Thai food, oh, yeah, lemongrass and yeah. coconut milk. Beautiful. Okay, then we're going through to another Thai um, for destination. This is the island. It's Koh Samui, iconic because of the beach, uh. both the book by Alex Garland and the film of Leonardo uh. DiCaprio. It's a great beach island. There's loads to do. Go and see the traditional monkey shimmying up a tree and throwing down the coconuts. It's a great <laughs> example of man working with beast, uh, and it's still it's still. It's still used today. Really? Love them monkeys and coconuts. <laughs> Love a bit of coconuts. Um, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So, Koh Samui, a great finish to your cruise before you then have a relaxing date scene and go back to Singapore. Um, it's an incredible cruise, incredible yeah. itinerary, that, Shane. It really it, is. It really is. And the great thing about it is you may think, right, we're sending around on a cruise ship. We're not really going to experience the culture. But the key thing for us at Princess Cruise is we try and make sure that we bring the local culture on board as much as possible. So our menus will be inspired by the local countries that you are visiting. We'll also bring on board some local entertainment as well. We'll also bring on board some local lecturers. So you really will feel like you are immersing yourself into that Southeast culture, uh, Southeast Asia culture, rather. So you will really feel like you are traveling in Asia, so it's great for our passengers that come back time and time again for that reason. We've got mm. big savings for you on this. The price had come down, we've taken it down again, and there's some great Christmas savings on here too. You can see the dates, December and January and February, so you've got time to plan on this. Great price, you can see we took the price reduction down and now it's gone down again, so you're onto a complete and utter winner here. That works out at less than £100 per person per night. Return flights, again, if you're looking at other airports, call the team, chat to them. Two nights stay in that four-star hotel in Singapore. What a great way to start. And look at the Christmas sailings Incredible. here. And you know that Christmas sailing, you have Christmas Day in Cambodia. How amazing would that be? I yeah. want a photo if Instead you Instead of snow, even if it rained, it would be hot rain. Let's have a look at the prices because it is so, so affordable. You can see there whether you want interior or you want to get a mini suite, it is so, so affordable. Write, write down the phone number 0800 840 1088 or if you prefer to use the internet, planetcruise.co.uk.